So it's really for moms, and that's why I'm very passionate about sharing that. Oh, that's incredible. Hey, this is Lance McGowan and Cariella Santana. And welcome to the third part of our Hey, Let's Get to Know Lance and Cariella series. <laughs> Uh, the purpose of this is really just to help you get to know us some more, let us, you know, let you know that you're not alone in your victories or your struggles, and really just to show that you know we have victories and struggles ourselves and things that we just want to show and share with you to be a part of our lives. And Cariella and I met at a Vegas Young Professional event, where it's a, it's a connector event. We're learning about yes. how to connect with other people mm -hmm. and as millennials, as locals, and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so in the previous parts, we spoke about our fathers, uh, and I think it's also important to talk about where we came from with our big mamas. So Lance, would you share a little bit about your mom? Yes, definitely. So I have some pictures here, because pictures are fun. This is a picture where my mom was a lot younger, probably like, looks like late 20s, maybe early 30s. And so this is her right here. If you can see that picture, boom. And here's another picture of her holding me when I was, I think, like six months old. So she had that kind of hair thing going on. And that's when I had hair as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, her story is that she actually escaped. She told me when she was, when I was 21, that she had escaped from actually North Korea wow. with her life intact. And I had always thought I was South Korean. So mm -hmm. I had like a quarter life crisis when she told me when I was like 21. But it's cool. I've come to terms with it. Um, but yeah, so she was escaping from her husband at the time who was actually trying to kill her. Wow. Yeah, and so she escaped, moved to Hawaii, she worked for the Hyatt as a maid, like the housekeeper type of, type of role, and then she gradually moved into a chef type of role and moved to Columbus, Ohio, where she was chopping thousands of heads of lettuces and, you know, making food for basically a lot of like banquets and conferences and stuff like that. So that's what she did for 20 plus years is she was like a, a sous chef or a chef. So, and she was really good cook. I mean, she yeah. just knew how to make Korean food, like kimchi and egg rolls and Ooh. Korean barbecue and yeah. rice. And I mean, and just a lot of different other dishes, which are called panchan in Korean, oh. which is basically a synonym for side dish. And so there's oh, a lot of side dishes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, my favorite kimchi is actually cucumber kimchi. And she would make that a lot. Um, I'd have a lot of interesting foods that she would make like pig feet. And uh, um, she would use cow intestines and in her soups. I mean, it was, it was it was real. Yeah, <laughs> was, you use it all. You use it all. Yes, it. that's mm -hmm. right. Um, and then her and my dad. Um, this is a picture of us going on a cruise when I was about three years old here. And so my dad's African American, mom's North Korean, um, and so my nationality is African American and North Korean. I look more Thai or Filipino from people when they ask me locally or online. Um, it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, they actually got divorced when I was about three, and so that was kind of traumatic it had effects on me psychologically and stuff like that um but her story that the part of her story that impacted me the most was when she got triple bypass surgery when i was about 14. so she had trouble breathing had trouble going upstairs mm -hmm. um, her arteries were getting clogged from yeah. decades of the standard american diet pizza french fries hot dog hamburgers all that stuff she opted for the surgery they broke open her chest you know they put vein there they took veins from different parts of her body put in there she still has scars to this day wow. um and and so she's taking blood pressure cholesterol medications she was diagnosed as pre-diabetic um, and then she also um is on just it's just a diminished quality of life and so the learning lesson that i had there was like wow like my dad passed away due to throat cancer and an allergic reaction to chemo my mom has a diminished quality of life due to her triple bypass. And I actually learned from watching a TED talk, um, Dean Ornish said that only 2% of bypass surgeries actually save lives. 98% wow. is actually a band-aid to make you feel better because it's diet and lifestyle that gets you into it. Mm -hmm. And it'll be diet and lifestyle to get you back into it if you don't change something. So mm -hmm. um, that's good news that we, we have a lot of control. Um, but the lesson learned is I don't want to go down that path. I don't want other people to go down her path. And so that's why I'm so passionate about educating people about how to eat right, about how to eat more whole foods, more plant foods, use natural solutions for your health that are safe and effective and don't have side effects or resistance build up. Yeah. And so one of my uh, websites and businesses is called Natural Solutions for Moms. Mm -hmm. And so it's a website that's specifically designed for moms to help them improve their quality of life, reduce their disease risk, 
um, get to a healthier body weight, and even reduce the visible signs of aging. Yeah. So it's really for moms, and that's why I'm very passionate about sharing that. Oh, that's incredible. Um, and, you know, moms are so vital to, like, our walks in life. And um, I think you pulled a lot of lessons from maybe her mistakes to where you have created the right quality of life for yourself and in how you have your businesses now. Yes. So, yeah, thanks for sharing. Yes, thank you for listening, and thank you for listening as well. Um, that concludes today's video. <laughs> um, make sure to check out the other videos that we have for you where we talk about our dads. Carriella is going to share and talk more about her mom in the next video. Make sure to watch that. So that's going to be great. And then we also have some other videos on the why and our walk down memory lane. So there's yeah. lots of great content that we want you to check out. So other than that, Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the other videos.